So ahead of the census, we have a lot of satellite imagery, which is giving us information on where structures are located in the country. So based on our international collaborations, we've had access to building footprints in all the 51,916 enumeration areas. This data set has been underlaid over, over the um, demarcation exercise that we did. And while we go through the enumeration areas, the enumerators are aware of where some of these um, structures are, like, are located to ensure that every structure is visited. Another way by which we think the 2021 population housing census is using technology to make it a distinct exercise is the institutionalization of a data monitoring mechanism. So for the first time, we have a, data, a, a dashboard that has been developed. So for instance, as government statistician, I can view all that is happening in all the 51,916 enumeration areas while I sit Is it I in real here. time? In real time. So once data is, is collected, we are able to benchmark the expected data that has to be collected in each district with what is actually being collected. And so you I, can actually keep track of how fast or how slow the process is going. Indeed, that is the essence. It is called an enumeration tracking dashboard. And you've, you've said it right. What it helps us to do is areas that we are falling short areas that we are likely to finish ahead of time and we've put in a workload management system which would allow us to improve on the on the work that the enumerators are doing and also where we need to push in more enumerators to add on to a particular enumerator's work to ensure that all this work is done within the 28th and the 11th July that has been scheduled um, for this exercise. 